Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the, uh, waiting there. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to my lightning talk on reaching out to the physical. Uh, my name is Mark Corbin. I'm a senior engineer at Acquia, uh, based in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, yeah, my clicker doesn't work. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Uh, my role uh, as senior support engineer uh, is helping to keep websites up for customers as well as helping out when there's any difficulties to get their sites back up and running. The areas uh, that I cover in my job uh, can range from a whole different areas of technology. Uh, very similar to what Enzo was talking about this morning, uh, I need to be uh, across quite a number of different areas uh, to help people with their websites. Uh, in my role, I can be helping customers get their site back up by flushing memcache, by uh, helping assist them with SSL certificates, uh, or I can be helping them to debug Drupal modules to uh, get the site uh, working in the way that they want it. What led me to open HAB and Drupal, which is what I want to talk about today, uh, was a journey started when my mother, who lives an hour away from me, I wanted to find a way to help her with security. Uh, what I wanted to do was to have an open source solution as well as a cheap solution. In looking at this, uh, we had a new addition to the family. We had a, a new little dog, two months old. Because we were working, I basically developed a way that we could set up security cameras on our balcony using Raspberry Pi and we could watch our puppy from uh, when we were at work. This led me to produce a module in Drupal 7, which was essentially a alcohol sensor, you would breathe into it, it would detect the number of alcohol and display that value in, in Drupal 7. This led me to discover this thing called OpenHab, and I've gone ahead and developed a module for that. Um, as I've looked more into this, um, I've discovered the joy of the Web of Things and the power that that can provide to us. The Web of Things is getting more attention these days. We've got a whole lot of companies like Philips, Samsung, Belkin, uh, and even obviously Google, Google Home and Amazon Echo are all producing devices with network settings. What this gives is each of these devices will essentially have their own application that needs to be run. For a person that wants to run this in a smart home uh, for, on their own, there's no central way to do this. So one project that has uh, brought a solution to this is called OpenHab. OpenHab stands for Open Home Automation Bus. It's an open source home automation platform which runs at the centre of a smart home. Uh, it is built on the Eclipse Smart Home Framework the same Eclipse uh, that you may have come across in doing development, the Eclipse IDE. It controls all your devices set up on uh, the web of things from one place, that place being in your browser or as a smartphone uh, application. You can download OpenHab uh, version 2 at the moment to run on Windows, Linux, Mac OS and Raspberry Pi. Can I get a show of hands of uh, those that have not heard of Raspberry Pi? You all familiar? Excellent. So you know that this little device can be used for a host of things. What this can, uh, what what this use is used for for OpenHab is this will run an OpenHab server called OpenHabian. So you can install that on the Raspberry Pi and run that to be essentially your smart home center. Today, I have a demonstration of OpenHab running on Raspberry Pi known as OpenHabian. Uh, in preparing for this talk, I realised that I couldn't show you a whole host of devices connected to it. And I was a little bit worried about having to bring those from Brisbane through Singapore. So I had to think of what would be the best device that I could use to demonstrate OpenHab working in front of you guys. I've chosen one thing and I think it was the only thing that I could choose. I'm very excited and I think you'll be very impressed ladies and gentlemen because the object device that I want to show you today, ladies and gentlemen, is the internet. Uh, 
Uh, some of you who may be familiar with this device or may have seen the documentary The IT Crowd may observe that this version of the internet is an upgrade. You can see that uh, on the side we've got cables coming out for optic fibre and the light has been upgraded to a blue light. So what I wanted to do now is show you OpenHab. Um, oh, and so what I've got there is uh, in the front you can see there's a little blue case that is, uh, it's actually a very cheap uh, Kodak camera case that I've managed to squeeze a Raspberry Pi into. And we've got the Raspberry Pi connecting to uh, the light uh, flashing on our internet. So what I wanted to do is just give you an example of OpenHab itself running on the server. So when you first go to OpenHab, you're presented with uh, this page which has eight different areas where you configure OpenHab. Uh, you can use it to uh, set up what they call items, which are essentially devices that you want to connect to, and sitemaps. So a sitemap will be a collection of devices that you wish to control. You can also configure OpenHab settings uh, and, and different views that you want the users to use. Today I'm only going to focus on the first two here, the REST API and the basic UI. If we click through to the basic UI, you can see that uh, this is giving, presenting us with the available sitemaps that we can connect to. And, and you can imagine that like a room full of devices that you want to control, the air conditioning, lights, uh, turning on the TV, etc. Uh, that can be all part of a sitemap. If we click through to that sitemap, you're presented with a number of different devices that you can control through the sitemap. In this case, this is just a, a, a dummy for the demonstration, We've got the light, which is essentially our internet. Um, we've got a TV channel. Uh, we've got a kitchen light that can be dimmed or brightened. Uh, a LED light colour. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the Philips Huey lights. You can change the colour on those and vary the intensity. And a simple switch. None of those are connected except for the light. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is, you can see there's a toggle button here. I'd just like to toggle that off and you can see that I can uh, change the setting through the Raspberry Pi to the light. Now, um, just bear with me, because it is the internet, uh, there will be a brief uh, stoppage in transmission. So just bear with me. So if I click on that, our light's gone off. And if we click on it again, we've got back our light. So that's essentially controlling uh, the light through OpenHab. What I want to show you now is the REST API that's associated with OpenHab. So if we click through the REST, uh, REST API, uh, what I really like about OpenHab, they've done a lot of work on this page in particular and a lot of work on the API. All this is uh, the different endpoints that you can use for the API. Um, I just want to show you one here today which is items. So if we click through to that, you're presented with a number of different methods that we can use for items. And if we go down here to the post, you can see there's an items and the um, uh, item name. What, what we do now is you saw before that it was the name The Light. So if I enter that same name, and what I need to do is give it the status that I want to change the light to. If I give it off, click on Try Out, and again we've got our light off. We can see the curl command that was sent and the response code. And we can do the same again and turn that back on. And there we go, it's back on. <coughs> so that's essentially open hab. Uh, what oops, lost my slides. Where's that going? Oops. There we go, cool. Open this, there we go. Okay. So basically from that I was playing with this open hab and turning things off and on and they went, well, how can I use Drupal? So what I've done uh, is produce a module that talks to the OpenHab server. The module consists of a core module, the top one is OpenHab. It basically talks to the API connection, a tester, so I can put in the name of an item and test that, and a sitemap, which is, as I said before, a collection of items that I can control. You can see here that all those three modules basically connect to through the REST API. 
the only uh, the sitemap module is also, and it's very experimental at this stage, but I've used a JavaScript library called 3JS which uh, to render as a 3D uh, representation of the sitemap. So if we have a look at that module, uh, if I can find that. There we go. <coughs> so I've got this installed on a Drupal 8 uh, setup. There's three modules here, OpenHab module, which is a core module, OpenHab sitemap 3D, experimental, and OpenHab test module. If I click through to the config on OpenHab module, Okay. You can see there's an open hab configuration, basically the settings for setting up the server. We've got uh, the protocol we want to use, the uh, IP address of the server name, and the port that we want to connect on. Down below, I've got a test connection. If we click on that, we should get, crossing fingers, a 200 response back. So that, that tells me that I'm talking from Drupal through to the open hab server. We can also go to the open hab test items. And if I enter the same name that I use for the open hab server, click on turn off, we've turned off, and we click on turn on, it's back on again. And the last module that I've got is the sitemap. I'll just do a quick refresh. There we go. Uh, very simple, the sitemap at the moment. Um, I've got a cube and a sphere in 3D, and the cube represents the connection to the open hab server. So if I click on that, the cube changes color and you can see the status here will change. If we click on that, click through, you can see the timestamp changing. Um, all it does is retrieve a UUID for the server. If we look at the sphere, if I click on that, it'll change the status. So we got off. And again, if I click on it again, it changes back to on. So that's essentially where I'm at with uh, the module development there. We've got, uh, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. There we go, cool. Excellent. So that's essentially what I've got in terms of uh, module development and connection to uh, OpenHab. Where I'm looking to go uh, in next steps is I'm looking to add functionality of um, can I add an item? Can I configure an item? Can I add a sitemap? Can I configure a sitemap? Uh, in similar vein, I want to uh, add uh, the, the ability to view sitemaps. So you can see there I started with the 3D representation. Uh, and Drupal being Drupal, that, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, there's a whole lot of different ways. And you, know, you can start to see that, that there could be a, a setup for that um, using twig theming, using CSS3 theming, things like that uh, could really move that forward. And obviously, the ability to, to uh, control items. So uh, at the moment, I've just got the simple off and on, but to use slide bars, uh, to change you know, up and down the volume, the intensity of lights, things like that, there's a whole lot of different um, things to, uh, to, that can be added to control the items there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, um, is my demonstration. Um, I'll be available for questions uh, at the end. <laughs>